hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys for coming back today's video is going to be a project share for the collection i'm in wonderland as you guys know i hauled this collection a few days ago so i wanted to share with you guys what i've made so far i ended up making some handmade cards because i love to use the fairy tale club collections for handmade cards i think they're perfect the things that come with the kit always make it super easy for me to make cards so of course i made a bunch and then i used a bunch of the accessories and little goodies that alicia sent me she had sent me i hold this as well a bunch of goodies and they went perfect with what i was trying to make and i just kept finding pieces that i was like oh my gosh these are gonna go great with my cards so let me show you guys they're packaged up i don't think i'm gonna take them out i think you can see them really well there's not that much of a glare but you guys, look at this card. I ended up doing the stitching all the way around. I used 110 pound white cardstock, the one that I always get from Amazon. Let me raise my sleeve. And then I had this piece of scrap, like scrap paper in my stash and I ended up using it. I'm not sure from what collection it is, but I wanted to use it because it went well with this black and white sheet from the collection. And then I put Alice there. I stitched all the way around the cut apart i added one of those little bows that alicia sent me those are the little bows that she sent me and i thought it just went perfect so cute i covered the blue bow that she has on with that one and i added wonderland right here i also added some of the little hearts that alicia had sent me she sent me this pack right here so i put some of those because the d on the wonderland was super long and i didn't want it to stick out so i ended up putting a heart just to kind of like cover that i did the little tearing method i stitched down through here as you can see and i stitched down through here you guys i love the way this card this card this card turned out this is a five by seven and oh my gosh i'm obsessed i love it so much so that is the first one that I made. The second one is this one. It's super hard, you guys, to pick a favorite because I feel like I am so happy with the way these cards turned out. So I used kind of like the geometric pattern on the background. I did a lot of stitching all the way around. I did that little folding method in the middle to throw the word weird on top but still give it some type of dimension. I did some little buttons, added a little bow to the flower. I stitched on both little flowers as you can see and you guys this is a different like size i'm not sure let's see i just ended up cutting this so this is about four and a quarter by seven yeah by seven so I love the way this one came out. It's a different, a weird size, but I just ended up using the paper that I had left over and made a card with it. And I think it still looks cute. Oh, I did some stitching also over the word weird. And yeah, you guys, that is the second card. This is the third one. I did the little cat card. I added some paper that I found in my stash. I think it's like some tissue paper. So I did some tearing on that and just did like a few layers up here. I stitched all the way around, added another one of those cute little bows, some of those little hearts, and then a doily in the background just for some extra texture. And then I did some like double stitching here. I like the way that looks when you do like two lines on one side and then just go all the way around. So I did that for this card and I'd used the black and white hearts for the background. I'm super happy with the way these cards look, you guys. These would make anybody smile. They would make me smile totally. And now for my favorite. This was my favorite as well. But I have in the batch, there's two of my favorites. And that would be this one. And this is the Queen of Hearts card. I used that tissue paper that I showed you guys before to just kind of give it a little something right here. A little tearing on both sides. I used the hearts as well. And then I ended up using the crowns that Alicia sent me as well. And I put the crown right in the background. This is a kind of like a playing card, but I covered it with the Queen of Hearts. And I love it. It says, always my way. And then I put this way. And then it says Queen of Hearts. And then we, there was two little red hearts in this pack. Where is the pack? Where did I do with the pack of hearts? 
so funny there was only two red hearts in this pack and i ended up using them for this card because they went perfect so it's on both sides i used the polka dots with the pink card paper to back the card and this is also a five by seven and you guys i absolutely love how it looks i think it's so cute they all turned out so fun and yeah that is my first project for the fairy tale club using the i'm in wonderland collection let me know down below which one is your favorite and stay tuned for more projects with this collection thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one bye guys